What's happening guys? Diamond Dyer here and welcome to my channel and welcome to Phasmophobia, the game where you take on the role as a paranormal investigator in order to investigate the paranormal as an investigator. <laughs> so on the way you'll be meeting lots of different ghost types and your job is to figure out what type of ghost it is and pass challenges along the way. So if you guys are ready, let's get stuck in. Uh, I've given this a go. Uh, just for a couple of hours just to get used to the controls just to see how everything works so I think I've kind of got a grasp on it right now um, as you can see here I've not really been very successful but I've been successful enough to know how it works so let's get into play Looks like there are others out there in need of help. yes there are but I will be going solo uh, I my thermal top. these are all the things that you can get so you have uh, ghost writing books, sight of pills, uh, flashlights, but we'll get into that as we progress. So let's see, where do we want to go? We have the Edgefield Street House. Record a thermometer, that's what I just bought, that's what you just saw me add, so I knew I needed that. So let's ready up and head to our first location. And here we are. Okay. We've had no reports of violence, but keep an eye out. No, there will be violence. <laughs> Guaranteed there will be violence from my experience. These are our objectives here. Uh, all we really need to get is objective one. Uh, objective two, three, and four are really optional objectives, and sometimes you need very specific equipment to get them. But I'm looking here, we need EMF reader, uh, a camera, and a thermometer. We have all of those, so hopefully we can get all of these objectives in this playthrough. Now, you see down at the bottom here, her name is Sandra Garcia. Garcia? Garcia. Let's say Garcia. Now, this game actually listens to your mic, um, so you can actually antagonize the ghosts, as you can see there, anger it, um, by calling its name. And you can also talk to the spirit box and see if you can get spirit box communication. So, this is a live feed of the cameras that will be in the house. And this is all the equipment we have, and we'll get to this once we get started. So, let's grab the key to the house, and a flashlight, and since it's asking for EMF meter and thermometer, those will be what we use to try and locate the ghost initially. So we'll take that, and this. Let's head in. Yeah, th thanks, thanks for that after I've left the truck to start telling me stuff. That was very nice of you. <laughs> the one thing I did find out about this game is that it is quite scary. Oh, I love it. As soon as you walk over the door, so everything's fine. Everything's creepy. <laughs> okay. So let's start using our equipment. Here's our EMF meter. Let's see if we can get a reading on this. It only it only counts if it goes to the red. With the EMF meters. Um, let's see what we're dealing with here. There's a couch in my way, that's why I wasn't going anywhere. But you need it to go to red for it to count as a reading that you can document. We need to find three pieces of evidence. Oh. Right. Now you see, cold temperatures in this game indicate presence. And one of the uh, criteria for the evidence that you have is sub zero temperatures. So that's pretty low. Yeah, I think we'll get the flashlight out. Okay. And let's have a look around this room to see if we can find... Don't! <laughs> Just keep that on. At least it wasn't the circuit box. The circuit box can trip and you have to go to the far reaches of the house um, in order to put the switch back on in complete darkness. So uh, yeah, generally you, you don't want that to be happening. 
Was the coldness maybe? Oh, yeah. See, this is usually the the coldness readings you'll find. But if it's getting a bit cold, oh, minus two. Okay, that's one of the. We open up the journal, and we go to the back, and here we have our evidence. So we'll ignore that footstep. So we have freezing temperatures. So oh. I saw the lights flashing in the background there. And you see my breath. That's also EMF 5. Oh, okay, out. <laughs> out, 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 out. Yeah. As you can see, when things were starting to kick off, uh, the total activity was starting to ramp up. I believe you're only in danger if it hits 10. That's when things start to go really crazy. Um, and this is the map of the house, you see that green there? That's the circuit box that we'd have to get to. Uh, it's actually not that far away, because the green there, uh, the centre left, that's the entrance, we would just have to go round the stairs to the right. But in some locations, it's a long way away. Sometimes you have to go into the attic. And yeah, <laughs> that's not fun. So yeah, now we need to capture a photo of the ghost and discover what we're dealing with. So we'll go back into the journal and EMF 5 is what we have. So, based on these criteria, it can be one of a phantom, a banshee, oh, a phantom or a banshee. So we can now go back and look at the ghost types. Banshee, evidence, fingerprints. So, we already have those two. So if we find fingerprints, it's a banshee. And the other one was phantom, which was ghost orbs. So now we need to have a camera and we need to have the ultraviolet light which will help us detect those two things. So let's get rid of what we have now. <laughs> Slick. Right, yeah. And let's try that again. Hey uh, there we go. And the MF meter. Yep. Yeah. Inside the clock. Perfect. So we don't need to use the spirit box in this in this location and well, I will say usually it's it doesn't go quite this smoothly <laughs> then if I've been practicing this game just to get the hang of it it was really difficult to find the ghost in some cases it, you get more aggressive the more players you have in your team uh, just to balance out that there are a lot more people that could potentially survive so we're pretty sure now this is the, the ghost room because we've got two different readings in here so we're going to get our camera. Is the light still off? Yes, it is. So let's put the light on and get the camera set up and see if we can find some ghost orbs. Let's point it right into the middle. There. And while we're here, let's get our ultraviolet light and start searching for fingerprints. Usually you'll find like fingerprints, like handprints on doors or fingerprints on light switches. Um, footsteps. There's not been a lot going on in this house, I'm quite glad of that. Yeah, I can't really see any fingerprints, so let's go back and have a look for some ghost orbs. Okay, so here we are. Let's turn the night vision off. Have a little look, see if we can see any ghost orbs. What we're looking for is just little white specks of light just to flash across the screen. Uh, one thing, I'm not sure if they'll appear on the camera like this or whether I'm going to have to go in and turn the lights off and use the uh, night vision. Well, we'll look at it for a couple of seconds. Let's see, I can't see anything yet. So we'll go back in and we'll turn the lights off. And s <laughs> If you're wondering what I'm laughing at, this is running speed. Yeah. So it can be <laughs> quite difficult to get away if you're being chased. And by if, I mean when. Yes, there's... Oh, did I get out just in time? No, <laughs> not quite, but... Yeah, and also we have a sanity meter here. My sanity meter is very, very high right now. Uh, I think, again, I think it goes down faster on multiplayer because there are more people, so you have more of an advantage. But if your sanity gets too low, you, you, you're in trouble. Let's have a look again with the night vision. 
and see if we can find any ghost orbs. Because it has to be one of the other. Because of the other evidence we found. And if we can't see any ghost... Was that a ghost orb or did something weird just happen? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. But I saw something here. Okay, it definitely looks like there's not any ghost dogs. Maybe I missed a fingerprint. Let's go back in and have another look and make sure we have the camera because we want to make sure we um, take a picture of the ghost for the objective. Although even running, you're just not in a hurry. You're just not in a hurry. What's that? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, okay. Um, I'm just gonna stay in this corner for a second. <laughs> Is there maybe? Oh, what was? Uh, did I walk through the cut? I scaled myself with the curtains. <sighs> yeah, I'm definitely not seeing any fingerprints. Maybe the camera's in a bad location. Let, let's just pick up the camera. Uh, put it somewhere. Oh, I need to drop something. Oh. I need to drop something. I'm going to put... Actually, let's have a little look and see if there's fingerprints elsewhere. Usually I'm just looking at light switches and doors. That's where I've seen them but I'm not sure if they can be in other places as well. Luckily all I'm getting right now is footsteps. I can live with just footsteps. Um, am I lost? <laughs> am I seriously lost? Oh, there we go. Okay, I might try to reposition this camera. So we'll put ultraviolet light down here. Maybe the ghost orbs are in this corner? Question mark. So let's put it on and aim it over there. And let's go and have another look. Ghost orb! There's one right there. So. We now know we are dealing with a phantom, because that's the only option left because of the evidence that we have. But now, let's risk our lives <laughs> to go in and snap a photo. This could be a very bad idea. But luckily we've just had footsteps so far. So I do not remember it being this dark. Oh! Nope! Nope! I hear you! Turn the light on. It was right there. I couldn't see it, but it was right there. What was its name again? Garcia? Garcia? Is it Sandra? Sandra Garcia? Sandra? Sandra? Sandra Garcia? I just want to take your picture, then I will leave you alone. Sandra Garcia. Sandra Garcia. Oop! We are, we are, we are. Oh, this is getting dangerous. <laughs> Where are you? Damn, it's, it's kicking off. Where are you? <sighs> oh, 
this game freaks me out. Sandra Garcia. I only want your picture. Sandra Garcia. Sandra Garcia. She just doesn't want to play. Okay, you do it, you do it. Sandra Garcia. Come and pose for a picture. Sandra Garcia. Yeah, it looks like we're just not going to get this picture. But that was a very low activity house, I think. So it, it got you up to speed on what this game is like if this is your first time watching it. But yeah, let's move on to the next house and see if we can find a bit more activity. Okay, yes, we were correct. It was a phantom. And after all of that, we get £40. Worth it. <laughs> well, we went up a level. So, let's go to the item store and see if there's anything else we can get which was useful. I remember seeing the crucifix being recommended on some levels. Ooh, a strong flashlight for £50. Dollars. Excuse me. Yeah, I think I would just like a, a stronger flashlight. Level 3. Wow. Crucifix it is. <laughs> Let's head to the next location. So we'll go and we'll add in our crucifix. And let's see if where we are in it. Mm. Leesdale Farmhouse. Okay, now so let's ready up. And hopefully we get some good skills here. We are now at the second location of today. So let's grab the key. Crucifix, we just bought one. Best. So, thermometer, crucifix, and capture a photo of the ghost. The ghost's name this time is Mary White. So, let's remember that. Let's say we're in a slightly bigger house this time. Let's grab our thermometer. And, uh, actually, we'll not get the crucifix. Once we find the ghost, we'll use the crucifix. We'll try and find it first. So, let's grab our flashlight and head inside. I don't even care what he says at this point. If it was that important, he would have told me before I left. Oh. <laughs> Immediately, there's immediately footsteps. Oh, get this light on and look for some EMFs. Phone. Where is the phone? Is the phone in this room? No. Okay. So I think the best thing to do right now would be to look for the room with the phone and search there. Let's try and keep as many lights out as we can. Try not to be a baby. Nothing yet. A 
bathroom. Where's the phone? Let's, before we check for the phone, let's have a look in some of these locations. Nothing on the EMF. I hear something. Temperature seems normal. The phone's maybe upstairs. Oh, <laughs> long dark hallways. Nothing on the EMF. Temperature looks good. There is, of course, a chance that the EMF and the thermometer are not the evidence we're looking for, but I like to use those two first because they're good just to sweep around and try to get a feel for the, the location. Yes, the, this ghost might be upstairs. Footsteps. And I heard footsteps in the last location, but nothing tried to kill me. What was that? I definitely heard something. like a door. I believe now that the ghost must be upstairs. So, let's have a look. I still haven't found the phone. Let's have a look around and see. Just in the corridors. like running water. Okay, let's have a look in here. Oh! This may be the room we're looking for. It's definitely colder in this area. Nothing on the EVP. Nothing freezing yet. So maybe it's not freezing temperatures. Okay, let's go and get some different equipment. I know that light just turned off, I'm just going to ignore it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure now no EV EMP will be there. So. We'll put the thermometer back down too, just for now. Um, I think we got the the mission. Yes, we did. We got the mission. So let's 
bring the video camera and the ghostwriting book. That, <laughs> that was a lot of activity while I was in here. Now let's go back and look for ghostwriting and ghost orbs in that bathroom. And see if we have any joy. Wrong room. Okay, so where can we set the camera? We'll set the camera. Let's turn the light on first. Set the camera. Are we okay? Put the light back on. Put the camera down. If you don't know, the lights flashing like that means activity of 10. And I really wish there was somewhere to set this camera. It doesn't seem to want to sit here. Ah. There we go. Can I just set the book on the floor? Yes, I can. Can I? I can set it there. Of course I can. <laughs> so, no reason to hang around here. <laughs> Let's leave that be for a while and come back later. Oh no. <gasps> I saw it. There he is. Well, she is. What? Oh! No! Well, <laughs> I did ask for more activity than the last location. At least I got life insurance. <laughs> well, that'll do it for now, guys. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like the video, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to get notified of any more uploads from me. I intend to upload every single Saturday. Um, so I will make a point of trying to get to that schedule. And if you have any comments to say, just leave them down below. I will make sure and read them. I will see you in the next video. Later, guys.